good afternoon all myself ishika grewal and uh, we are representing virtual mouse using hand gesture uh, so what is virtual mouse virtual mouse is a system that profound to guide the mouse cursor and execute its task uh, using real time camera here in this uh, we implemented uh, mouse movement and mouse click the system is based on uh, imagine uh, image comparison and motion detection technology next uh, in this uh, we have used li three libraries OpenCV, NumPy, and PyInfit. And here, OpenCV is a programming function that that is which is basically written in C++. And uh, we have another library called NumPy. NumPy working is working with the arrays, linear algebra, Fourier transform, and matrices. And uh, the last library, which is PyInfit, PyInfit is used to control the monitor input devices. Okay, so in this we have used two type of uh, things like uh, pineput dot mouse, which controls and monitor the mouse, and pineput dot keyboard, which control and monitor the keyboard. Here, the steps involved in uh, performing uh, this project project is uh, first the camera capture. It will capture our uh, capture our video first and if uh, there is any specific color whatever we specify uh, whether it may be green or red or something any you recognized those images will be processed and uh, it will give out the number of object presents by drawing contours over it and uh, uh, based on that our uh, based on our finger movement or the object detected based on the object movement the mouse uh, pointer will change its uh, position from uh, in our uh, ui so there are other operations that can be done with mouse uh, like click and etc so all this will be uh, done and i'll be showing my code for now yes as we have discussed, uh, we are using a CV2 uh, computer vision library and NumPy library and the SpinePort libraries. And this WX library is a library which uh, helps us in inter helps us interacting with the GUI of our uh, laptop or systems. And now, first we have to start controlling the mouse with the image capture. So all this initialization part is done. Uh, the mouse controller is set and uh, with this uh, GUI thing, uh, with this uh, cross functioning of GUI and our program is uh, set to uh, is set to start. It will uh, and it will get the display size of the screen of, of based on the whichever system we are using. And this we have what pixels we are uh, uh, we need uh, to capture our image. So that pixels are set first and the video capture is started. This lower G and upper G are our uh, boundaries. Like for now, we want to detect green color. That is why we have specified the values for uh, like lowest green color and highest green color, like light green and dark green. If anything is in this range, so then the object will be detected. It will be detected. And this kernel open kernel close we'll be using next this just uh, this just initializes a matrix a five cross five matrix and a 20 by 20 matrix which has all the values of ones and the, all this initialization part like present mouse location and previous mouse location to calculate now this read uh, cap dot read is uh, cap is the object we have de uh, declared uh, to get the video capture so whatever the image it uh, it retrieves an image if it cannot retrieve an image it false if it can retrieve a proper image the return function will be true now we are resizing it to our pixels whatever we have given 340 and 220 but uh, this everything in range everything will be processed in hsv values but whatever the green values we have given here were our 
HGB values. That is why we are converting everything into HSV values, and we are checking if the uh, if any object inside our image is in uh, range of this green values. If it is in range, then only those values will be sent to mask. Rest of the image will be uh, will have values of zero zero zero, and we cannot just take the image and uh, process it we need a proper uh, object to be detected it may be like the green color may be in our background which can detect it also so to reduce all that and the extra noise which will be added with our green color like if it is not exact green color when it is captured so we have to reduce the noise to reduce the noise we have applied masks for that we have used this morphology x class in uh, cv2 library which will take uh, input parameters like uh, whichever the source image we have to change that mask we ha which we have got uh, if uh, in range if it is in green color only those values we have to change we need not change the whole image so we are taking that image and we are applying this morph open operation what does morph open do this morph open operation takes the source and what operation to be done the uh, operation first erodes the image what uh, it, it the basic meaning of erosion is it shrinks the image that is whatever the dominant color or the dominant area occupying color will uh, whatever it will be there that will uh, this uh, uh, this least color occupied space will be shrinked first erosion will do that part to the will do the expansion part like see for example here this was uh, erosion see the small part the small white white part here in this example j it, that that is shrinking down and everything was made color black that is black is the dominant color here and after erosion dilation happens dilation is again we have seen that like it is expanding whatever the black uh, whatever the uh, black color was there it is expanding it it's just to uh, get all the object in same color like there may be color differences or color value differences when we are seeing in uh, like in a mathematical array we can see small changes color changes to avoid all of that to avoid that kind of noise we are applying this morph open operation just uh, it, uh, to uh, smoothen it more, morph close operation can also be done. Morph close operation just does the reverse thing. First it dilates and then it erodes the image. It also depends on the whatever structuring element we are choosing that we will be specifying here. Here I have specified the structuring element for mask open operation as five cross five matrix, which have values of one. And for morph close, I have set 20 cross 20 matrix, which have the uh, morph close operation. So both this morph open and morph close operations will up, uh, will reduce the noise in uh, in my object and around my object to make it one color so that that whole object will be detected when we are doing further operations so this another mask this this is this will be the final mask like we have now smoothened the image and we can uh, we have processed the image and we can find the objects properly now now this fine contours is a uh, is a class that takes the image and this uh, external actually this fine contours uh, will uh, will have a hierarchy like what are the external objects and uh, a little internal and it will have uh, so many levels of hierarchy if we specify so uh, now this re retrieve external is the outer part like uh, we have did in the masks so, like we have reduced all different kinds of colors so we know we need not get all the inner colors if we get just the boundary that is fine with us so we are uh, retrieving only the external part and the cv2 approx none approx none is an operation that we are not approximating it to anything like to join a line we just need two points two endpoints of a line we need not uh, get just two endpoints of a line which will change the shape if shape of the object or whichever it is detecting so approx none what approx none will do is it will it will give a, every specific point in the boundary of the object so this uh, fine contours all this will be uh, done using the algorithm convex hull i'll be explaining the convex hull algorithm now imagine these are the set of points we have uh, detected like in our image if i have detected green color object all these points are green color object now i have to uh, 
boundaries yeah. how can it yeah, be I done think, uh, uh, i think there is a delay in the view transition so i am seeing the code is that what you are showing currently uh, no sir uh, i am showing convex, convex algorithm in ppt so i don't know uh, if i am the only one but i i see your code screen right now the screen has not okay. transitioned just a second uh, maybe it's a bandwidth just uh, in our object if all the green points are recognized like this convex hell algorithm basically states that first we have to initialize a point the leftmost point was in this uh, uh, in this axis in this space uh, in this coordinate axis so the leftmost point here is p uh and from that leftmost uh, point p we uh we are not returning to our original like the first point this pqr should be a triplet such that we have to find a point q which is right of this uh, p point that is which is in clockwise direction so that when a point r in uh, in the space when a point r in the space is detected this p and q point should be left of it that is uh, it should be counter clockwise to it it should go counter clockwise in the same order like r q p so we have to find uh, that kind of points now so the initialization point is p here we need not return to the p point uh, this p point again so the leftmost point p is uh, searching for an uh, is searching for a point which is right to it and it will calculate that so that all the points will be left to it so that's how we have uh, got this point uh, in the next uh, next step so the similar way we are uh, finding all the boundary points like uh, just imagine for this line we are drawing a perpendicular line and that perpendicular line with that perpendicular line we can say if it if this point is left to it or right to it so we should always say that the point should be left to it uh, so that it it can move counter, counter clockwise when we are returning to p point like the initial so if i draw a perpendicular line to p then i is the leftmost point to it so then i can i can take i and consider it and add it to uh, my contours uh, my set of contours and it uh, this algorithm goes on the same way if i draw a normal line to this line and again i find the leftmost and this will be the leftmost point so this is one more boundary of this polygon whatever i am trying to draw with this set of points and for that point again i'll draw a normal and leftmost point will be found and the same thing everywhere leftmost leftmost point will be found and we'll go to last but one point so that we need not reach the first point we have started with again so basically this will give us all the boundaries of the points we have located and, and coming back this is what this fine contours will do it will go it will go through this uh, convex hell algorithm and it will find out all the boundary points and it will it will uh, return values of uh, contours and h h is the hierarchy here but just because we are using return uh, retrieve external points uh, the hierarchy will be one anyways if there are multiple hierarchies like all the internals or if we are returning the whole tree of uh, uh, that contours we need to use this hierarchy level also that may be useful there now ishika will continue ah uh, so here if uh, lens content equals to 2 that means if object is detected then uh, we'll check if the mouse is pressed or released for that we are using variable is pressed equals to 1 if it is pressed yeah, we I'm, need uh, to release it by oh, yeah, uh, i'm seeing uh, the convex hull slide are you on convex convex hull slide no sir it's in the code no sir i'm like uh, uh, ishika can you see my code so if the mouse is pressed then we need to release it for that we are checking by if statement is pressed equals to 0 so we we make it to, we make that variable to 0 and applying that uh, mouse dot release button dot left now we need to make a rectangle so for that we are using the variables x1 y1 w1 h1 to bounding a rectangle for 
uh, one object and for the other object we are using the variable x2 y2 w2 h2 and uh, for that we need to now create a uh, draw a rectangle by using cv2 dot rectangle and creating an image and uh, using the coordinates x1 y1 and uh, x1 plus w1 y1 plus h1 and uh, for color code it is 20 uh, 255 comma 0 comma 0 that is for green and uh, 2 is the width of the line now we need to make the circle where the object is detected so for that uh, okay it, we need to make the circle at the center of the rectangle for that uh, we are using the cx1 cy1 and cx2 cy2 variables and we'll draw a line between the center of the two rectangles so for that we are using the command cv2 dot line image cx1 cx2 and cx oh, sorry cx1 cy1 cx2 cy2 and the color code is 255 comma 0 comma 0 that is for green now reference point what is the reference point reference point is the line between the center of the circle uh, so for that we are drawing we are using the commands uh, we are using the variable clx equals to int uh, and the center is uh, cx1 plus cx2 by 2 and uh, for that we are drawing a circle using the command cv2 dot circle dot image comma radius comma 2 comma 0 comma 0 comma 255 0 comma 0 comma 255 is for the color code green uh, sorry red now uh, we are drawing the mouse location for mouse location we are adding the old mouse location and detecting the current mouse location and dividing by damping factor why we are used damping factor we use damping factor to smoothen the mouse movement now next mouse position to detect the mouse position we are using this expression after that if mouse position is equal to this expression then uh, it will skip the loop it will go into the loop and uh, then we are locate uh, we are moving the values like uh, current values to the old location then we are use we want to draw a overall rectangle for this thing so we are using this variable open x open y open w open h to bound a rectangle with the proper coordinates then now if uh, for clicking we are detecting only one object so for that we are using the command lf len const equals equals one if it uh, if the camera is detecting only one object then what we have to do we have to do if it is pressed is zero means if the mouse is released we need to make it pressed so for that we are using this condition like change change between the proper coordinates and the coordinates w and h then uh, and make it is pressed equals to one and uh, we'll make the mouse to be pressed by using the command mouse dot press button dot left after that uh, if it is uh, if it is al already pressed we'll make it pressed so for that we are using the else condition x comma y comma w comma h to bounding the rectangle we are using this thing after that we'll make a rectangle uh, rectangle around the object for that we are using uh, image and the coordinates x comma y and other coordinate as x plus w and y plus h and color code and the line width after that uh, we need to draw a center of the rectangle for center of the rectangle we need to uh, use this things so using variable cx equals to int x plus w by 2 and the other one is y plus h by 2 after that we'll do the same thing again like mouse location uh, like current location equals to old location plus this thing and the damping factor after that we'll do the same process again and the loop will continue after that we, we need to show the result for showing the result we are using the command cv2 dot i'm show uh, virtual mouse comma image for showing like whatever it is capturing it will show after that uh, for for okay for quitting the program we'll do one thing like if condition cv2 wait key and if the key is w then it will break and cap uh, capture will be released and the, all the windows will be destroyed by the command cv2 dot destroy all windows 
now I'll be showing the demo once. Can you see the video? Yes. Uh, yes, sir. See, uh, this this is uh, the object is detected and it is bounded. And we are finding the centers of the rectangle and joining it with a line. And the dot, the circle, small circle we have drawn is detecting the center of that line, which is reference point. So this reference point, wherever it moves, the mouse, my mouse is moving. Uh, I'm not moving anything. So this gesture is uh, used to uh, move the mouse. So if only one object is detected. That is, only if uh, uh, the circle is detected, uh, like contour is detected. If one contour is detected, then it is selecting. That is, if, if these two things are very near, then it uh, it bounds only uh, one contour around it. So only one object is detected. So this will be selecting everything. So this uh, circle gesture is uh, this. Uh, detection is a click and two objects detection is the mouse pointer the mouse will move very smoothly because we have added damping factor and the slow movement of the mouse move of the mouse will be observed Yes. Ishika, can you continue? Okay, so uh, for virtual mouse, there are lots of advantages, like it will uh, easier to adapt. It is greater, uh, it is uh, with greater flexibility. It is prone, to, less prone to physical damage, like mechanical wear and tear and and it will avoid the mouse related damage like wrist damage like cts rs next slide should now move it to like next slide yeah yeah very great i can't hear you sorry yeah yeah applications mm -hmm. Okay, there are lots of application of that, like we see robot controlling. Robot controlling is one of the major application of the system. Like it uh, without machine or without any extra device, it will uh, it will control the robot. Okay, next application is digital artist. Digital digital artist can uh, draw two D, three D images by using this gesture only. And next is virtual reality or augmented reality based games. Extended or and it is best applicate best it is for uh, dumb and deaf people it is best like they can uh, using by sign languages they can use the mouse and it will interact the comp like they will be able to interact with the computing machines thank you yes I guess we are done, sir. Okay, sounds good. So, Any audience, yes. So, uh, yeah, there are some questions coming. You can see that. You see the question, uh, the the yellow question mark, the red question mark. If you click on that, you'll see the questions. Is there a way to? audience uh, is asking what is this what iron man is using in the movie iron man or avengers using this uh, advanced technology like we can do many advancements like for now we have did the basic thing uh, just a click we can do right click left click if more objects are detected we can do that maybe he used the advanced version so I can see that there are a lot of potential applications in robotics and uh, gesture control, augmented reality and virtual reality. Obviously, all the cinematography, motion picture, there are quite a few applications here indeed for uh, 
disabled uh, you know uh, population as well so very useful indeed uh, any other questions audience so uh, srajana and uh, ishika had a question here why what gave you the idea of this particular webinar presentation or demo uh, are you doing some extended research or work in this area or this is just something you found on the internet and found interesting why, why this topic uh, no sir actually virtual mouse uh, because uh, uh, this because see it is very uh, hard to uh, connect a mouse to laptops get some other hardware mouse uh, to connect and the trackpad using like if we are attending interviews or something it is hard to use trackpad and to draw something or to write something so it is better if we use our hand it's just like air canvas thing whatever we write with our hands will be displayed on the screen so this virtual mouse can be used uh, that way also so this was one of the reason why uh, this uh, topic was interesting to me which i can use in my life like for now when we are attending interviews it will be very useful that is why i wanted to do this project okay so it's not like you have you are doing any extended research on this in your department in bms college uh, actually i want to continue with uh, this computer vision and uh, in this field i want to do something when uh, i'll be more efficient uh, then i might do something okay fair enough audience any other questions a new kind of topic uh, for our webinars here so thanks to ishika and sajana for bringing this interesting paradigm uh, audience any other questions so okay so thank you all for joining and thanks very much ishika and sajana well done and an interesting new kind of topic presented thank you sir and very, very useful technology clearly we can see that uh, and the demo was also quite interesting uh, so well done on that as well uh, so thank you all for joining and uh, we'll hope to see future sessions from these uh, students from bms uh, and uh, we'll see you later then have a good day uh, or good night as the case may be in your respective time zone uh, see you later then bye yeah thank you sir bye thank you everyone